Here's the problem. The equity in your home is wasted capital because it doesn't earn interest or pay dividends like your savings or investments. And it could be lost if market values decline in your neighborhood. You see, your home equity is simply the difference between what you owe on your home, your mortgage, and your home's current market value, what you can sell it for. But it isn't real money until you actually sell your home and bank the profit, which means that it doesn't make sense to leave the equity in your home, where it can be lost, and where it doesn't earn any interest for you. So, what's the solution? A home equity transfer. A home equity transfer combines several provisions of the tax code contained within sections 101, 121, 163, and 7702 to safely convert up to $100,000 of your current home equity into hundreds or thousands of dollars of tax-free monthly income at retirement without any risk of losing your money in either the real estate market or the stock market. A home equity transfer can give you tax-free compound growth and tax-free income at retirement through a home equity line of credit and a guaranteed cash value insurance contract with annual dividend payments or an interest crediting rate based on a stock market index like the S&P 500. Here's how it works. First, you take out a home equity line of credit for $100,000 through your bank or mortgage company. Then each year for the first five years, you transfer $20,000 from your line of credit into your bank account, and then from your bank account into your cash value insurance contract, which qualifies you to withdraw the money tax-free at retirement. And you pay only the interest each month as your money continues to grow, earning compound interest or dividends every year without taxation. So you pay simple interest, but you earn compound tax-exempt interest on the same money. For example, a 6% simple annual interest rate paid on $100,000 over 20 years would cost you $120,000, but a 6% compound annual interest rate earned on the same $100,000 over the same 20 years would grow to $340,000 without taxation. And your line of credit will be paid off when you retire, because you will either sell your home and buy a smaller house, or decide to remain in your home and simply reverse your mortgage, which can also convert your remaining home equity into tax-free monthly income. Either way, the $100,000 you borrowed tax-free will also be paid off tax-free. What's more, you can do a home equity transfer more than once, every time you sell one home and buy another. For example, in 1988, Matt and Lynn were in their 30s when they did their first home equity transfer for $80,000. They sold that home in 1991, which paid off their home equity line of credit before they bought their second home. After three years in that house, they did another home equity transfer for $100,000 before selling that home two years later. And they did their third home equity transfer in 2002. Now in their 50s, Matt and Lynn have already accumulated more than $500,000 within their cash value insurance contract, in addition to the equity in their current home. And this money should continue to grow to over $900,000 by the time they retire, which should allow them to withdraw between $40,000 and $50,000 a year tax-free. So ask yourself this. Can you afford to leave all the equity in your home where it earns nothing year after year? Or does it make more sense to take advantage of the tax code provisions that allow you to transfer your home equity tax-free and withdraw thousands of dollars of tax-free income at retirement?